Well, welcome back to the garage, everybody. Say hi, Jack. Want your carrot? Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. So now the important stuff in life is done. Uh, last last year for SakuraCon, uh, I made up a batch of these uh, little hypnotodes. Uh, this one's uh, an 80% of the original STL file. And uh, I did that because I got my 3D, my first 3D printer, the one we're still using, uh, printer one. Um, and it was, uh, I was having some issues with it, didn't know, really know what I was doing. So to, in the interest of time, I opted to do the 80 percenters. We're actually bumping up to 90 percent. I've also changed the resolution on the prints. So instead of being a 0.2 millimeter layer height, we're running a 0.1 millimeter layer height. And uh, seems to be making much nicer models. Uh, I've also switched filaments from the, uh, I think it's a Century filament that I've kind of had hit and miss results with to the 3D Solutech uh, printer filament. And so far with that, I have had very consistent results, uh, even rivaling some of the higher end uh, import brands. Um, we also have some other ones that we might include in the, the giveaway, like these little Groot uh, pots. They got a, kind of a deep well in the head. Uh, they're designed where if you, uh, waterproof the inside here uh, you can uh, uh, put a little bit of water and just have some little flowers sitting in there but then I also have these little baby Groots too and uh, you know, we'll see if we might even throw the sorceress in there and the sorceress is set up where you can uh, put a little letter opener or a pen or whatever uh, holding on there but anyway, so we got this all warming up, and we're going to get another hypnotode going. Oh yeah, it looks like it's laying down the first layer pretty good. I'm going to sit here and watch it for a few more. And then I'll uh, just let the time lapse play and you can see this thing get put together. Well, welcome back. I just got done reviewing the time-lapse footage. So uh, I actually took uh, 
It took me three tries to get all, get that footage because the camera kept dorking up. Oh, let's get this off. Yeah, you know, razor blade under to get it started. Chase it with the uh, spatula thingy. That off. Have to let this warm up, give it a good scrape. Then we're going to pull our mount off. Don't need anything extra. Okay. Nice clean again. At some point I'm going to have to buff the surface of this down. Just got a couple fairly deep scratches from me being abusive. Alright. Yep, we still got a little ways to warm up, so while I'm waiting for that to warm up, let's uh, start stripping this one apart. And one of the problems I had in the originals is these little uh, toes right here like to break off that in the, the front toe or the rear toes as well. Let's go in here and we're going to separate them really careful like with the razor blade just to make sure they're, they're good. And we're going to grab this here support structure. Voila! That one pulled away really nicely. Oh, and we lost a toe. Uh, lost a both of them. Man. Little nubbies. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we didn't lose the one. We just lost the very tip of the one. Okay. So I go in here and we're going to split the front section and the rear so I can peel away this stuff. And there'll be a lot more cleanup that's done off camera. So I'll, I'll take a take a knife and get all the little odds and ends removed. Then yet again we get another little tricky spot right along here. I'm gonna break it up from the foot so we don't pull the foot away. Do that on both sides. And I tried printing these with no support structure and this overhang just it wasn't going to work. So let's see if I can get this out of here. Well, there's the bulk of the uh, service material removed. So uh, I just kind of get them rough prepped. Usually I'll take and uh, clean up right around the eyes as well uh, as part of the rough prep. So that's really easy to do. And uh, I'll come back in later with, uh, with a, my favorite uh, pocket knife and clean up the remainder because it's a lot easier, different shaped blade to to do some of these areas you know so a combination of razor blades and, and everything else and then you get a fairly decent finished product anyway well I'm gonna restart the printer get get another one printing um, thank you all for watching